So these models that I'm going to use to help describe how a bee uses this house are enlarged models and they represent either a tube from a house like this or a hole in a house like this. When a bee comes along and decides to use it, it'll move in and after some time make something that looks kind of like this. There are multiple little sections and under each of the brown pieces there's a little yellow ball. And that little yellow ball is what we like to call bee bread. And it's essentially nectar and pollen put together to form a little nutrient provision for the brown thing, which is the egg, to eat as it, metamorpho uh, as it metamorphoses. And the green piece here represents the barrier between each of them that the mother bee puts in place. And the bees, as they metamorphose, will go through inside of this tube before they emerge in there are various emerging seasons for different bees. Sometimes it's early spring and it goes throughout summer, some of them. But they'll eventually come through this sealed off end. And the mother bee seals that off to help protect the interior from the elements. But when the bees emerge, the tunnel will look like this on the outside, essentially. You'll see that there's a hole carved through. And that's how you'll know that bees have emerged. And the way that the mother bee lays their, her eggs is that in the back she lays females and in the front she lays males. And she does that because the males end up emerging first, um, sometimes a couple of weeks before the females. And they'll go out, they'll begin pollinating, but once they're all gone, this is a bit of a dramatic version of what it might look like on the inside, but this is a representation of why we want to clean the tubes out, because there's a bunch of debris. And I like to compare this to, say, a hotel room, where you don't want to walk into a hotel room and have it all dirty and messy like this. So we need to be sure to clean these so that the next bees that come along don't have this which could spread disease. And that's where the maintenance tips that I've talked about with changing tubes in the advanced house and um, brushing out the hollow places in this log, the, sorry, the holes in this log become important because by replacing these stems and cleaning out these holes and replacing the log every so often, we're helping to be sure that the disease that could be caused by all of this buildup isn't spread to other bees.